Hello, I'm Garth Powell, and I'm the Senior Product Designer for Furman Sound. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Furman P6900 ARE. Specifically, it's a stable power voltage regulator with our new voltage regulation technology. Unlike the power conditioners and power management devices for our professional series that you're typically used to, something like our PL Plus um, CE or a PL8 or PL Pro, the difference is, in addition to being nearly 40 kilograms versus this, which is relatively small and light, is that we have the ability to take abnormally low voltage or high voltage and give a constant 230 volts out. Whether or 240 volts out, your choice, switchable via the rear panel. Like our professional series Furman products, we feature series multi-stage protection, a non-sacrificial surge suppression technology that in over a third of a million sold worldwide, we have never lost one to surge. This is incredibly valuable. The show must go on in the professional world. We definitely believe that here at Furman, and so we've made something that essentially means no compromise for you, no service call, no downtime. It protects, protects the connected equipment, and keeps right on working. Also linearized filtering. But the big difference with the voltage regulation, besides it being a much larger profile and far heavier, is the fact that we have this voltage regulation system. By physics, this is going to take up some space. We have this, essentially, it's a type of transformer called an autoformer, auto transformer. And what that is going to do is, along with the aid of a microprocessor, it detects in fractions of a second the incoming voltage compared to what the outcoming voltage needs to be, 230 volts or 240 volts, again, at your choosing. And it's going to compensate for these voltage differences that are coming in by moving to various taps around this large toroid transformer. Then, after choosing which tap of the autoformer that will properly compensate for this voltage difference or differential, that goes to one of these either switching triacs or alternisters, depending on which one of our products we're talking about. These are solid state devices and can handle a tremendous amount of current capacity. This is a 30 amp unit, but it can handle well in excess of 50 amps before it even starts to soft compress. No other type of voltage regulation technology can come close. This is a voltage regulator unlike ones that rely on less expensive and far easier to implement relays or large variac technologies that have a tremendously high AC impedance and will erode and corrode over time. No, this is professional. This will handle your largest amplifiers day in, day out for decades and work reliably first time, every time. So, why do I need a voltage regulator? That's a great question. The fact of the matter is, is that if you have very stable voltage at your facility, the truth is you don't. This will be more than adequate in most cases. Many countries throughout the world, particularly in Western Europe, have incredibly stable voltage. And because of this, there is a common misconception that I simply don't need voltage regulation. Nothing could be further from the truth, however. You see, what if you're doing remote work? What if you're doing a remote broadcast? What if you're doing a remote concert? Where will the power come from? If it's coming from what's behind me, a petroleum or diesel generator, you need voltage regulation. Because that generator is determining what voltage to put out based on a constant current load that it wants to see and its governor, which is constantly shifting the voltage out to try to compensate for the current load. This current load will never be constant with a concert because lighting and voltage is dynamic and always shifting. Because of this, the voltage will vary. But unlike your facility where the voltage might only vary by a few volts, it could vary by tens of volts. And your concert is in jeopardy. Nothing will work stably. Only voltage regulation can achieve the stable operation you must have as an AV professional. From our console to many amplifiers and also other components and processors, many of these are equipped with modern switching power supplies. And as most engineers and technicians know, a switching power supply, just like a voltage regulator, will compensate for extraordinarily low and high voltage. 
The very, very best ones, yes, they will. However, when you're trying to make a very, very small component at a given fixed price that sometimes needs to be low in a small area that needs to take up as little space as possible and create as little heat as possible, oftentimes compromises are made. Ask yourself, is the power supply in the very, very teeny corner of a component smaller than this really going to be able to do the same job we can do with this 40 kilogram behemoth right here? I don't think so. The fact of the matter is, as AV professionals, we need to be aware and ready for anything. Some of these switching power supplies will work fine until we get to the very end of their threshold and then you're not going to have a little extra distortion as you would have with traditional transformer based linear power supplies. Your show's done until we can get that thing to switch back on. And at that point, one of the things that would help that to occur would be one of these, the P6900 ARE. Now also, we have another problem. If this is a Turing AV group, what about the back line? We're going to have instrument amps. We could have guitar amps, bass guitar amps, keyboard amps. These are made by many manufacturers. It could be Fender, it could be Marshall, it could be Matchless, it could be Mesa Boogie. Oh, there's many, many to choose from. All fine amplifiers, all with very different tonal characteristics, but they all have one thing in common. They don't have a switching power supply. And in fact, they depend on not only a low AC impedance, but a constant voltage in order to perform optimally. You're dealing with professionals. These are people that are going to know if a roadie or somebody with itchy fingers has moved one tone control a fraction of a centimeter or inch. Here you're talking about a situation where their voltage could be down or up 30 volts. In a situation like that, their tone is severely compromised. Different effects such as guitar feedback may or may not work with the same proximity that they're used to and that performer is undone. They need consistency every single performance. That's what technology such as Furman's P6900 ARE could absolutely ensure. This is why virtually every professional touring company in North America and for that matter around the world has insisted on Furman voltage regulation not only now but for the last several decades. Whether it's the AV professionals that have clients such as Aerosmith, Steve Vai or the Counting Crows and numerous others it makes no difference. They rely on this technology because they absolutely must. Whether you're an AV professional or you supply those who are, the Furman P6900 ARE is an indispensable part of any AV rig.